Hi everyone and welcome back to Advanced Higher Biology. Today we're on the final key area of Unit 1, Cells and Proteins, and it's protein control of cell division. So as always, we're going to separate this up into some sub-key areas, just to try and make it um, not so much information being thrown at you at once. So the first part is going to be on the cytoskeleton and cell division. So this whole key area of protein control of cell division is, as the name suggests, it's going to be focusing on cell division or mitosis that you hopefully remember from National 5. We're going to go into a lot more detail about the process of mitosis and separate all the different uh, parts up into the individual names and what goes on. But also, as the name suggests, we'll be looking at the control of this process as well. So let's get started on part A. So when we talk about the cytoskeleton, essentially the cytoskeleton is the sort of inner mechanics of a cell. So the cytoskeleton gives mechanical support and shape to these cells. Now, it's made of different protein structures, including something called microtubules, which you can see in this pretty incredible fluorescence microscopy picture here in green. So we've got the nucleus in blue, and we have all these little microtubules that go all the way throughout the cell, giving that support, but also keeping that shape going as well. And these microtubules are going to be really important both in terms of how different organelles interact to move around the cell, but also looking at cell division itself. So in terms of those microtubules, they are hollow cylinders made up of a protein called tubulin. So tubulin microtubules, probably quite an easy way to try and um, remember them. And what they do is they come from an area, they radiate from an area, so it's spread out, called uh, the microtubule organizing center but you'll probably see it referred to as MTOC or MTOC, uh, but they could also come from a centrosome as well. So this picture here, again, similar to the last one, there's a little MTOC in green, and these different microtubules are all radiating out. So think of your, um, your spindle fibers coming out and then going back in. This is essentially the process we're looking at. Now, in terms of cell division then, as I mentioned there with spindle fibers, these are gonna be really important in moving around membrane-bound organelles and also chromosomes that you've seen in uh, mitosis before. Now, for this part here, this will be nothing new to you really, but you just need to be aware of the different words that we have here. So when cell division takes place, there's going to be a remodeling of the cytoskeleton. So think about your pictures of the cell where you just have your sort of circular cell and you have your chromosomes lining up at the equator and then there's that movement towards the poles but of course the cytoplasm is going to have to divide there's going to be new uh, nuclear membranes there's going to be a total restructuring of the cell taking place to split into two cells so these microtubules form these spindle fibers that we talked about and these are active during cell division and if you remember they're coming across and attaching onto the, the centromere here now, the, the main part we need to look at here, though, is we did talk about spindle fibers, so these microtubules uh, radiating out, but then, of course, they collect the chromosomes and they move back to the poles. And essentially what happens is the formation of these microtubules involves polymerization, where they're going to grow out, and then finally depolymerization of tubulin when they're going to head back. And that's the sort of main process that we're looking at. So these microtubules move around organelles, they move around the chromosomes, they're going to go through polymerization, and then we're also going to go through depolymerization. And that's it for the first part. It's quite nice and, and quick. Just look at the cytoskeleton, the importance of this. And this will go into a little bit more detail in the next sub-key area, part B, where we actually look at mitosis 